August is a great month in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's full of all kinds of fun events, things to collect, critters to catch, and so much more. So as usual, I wanted to do a rundown of everything that's happening around your island throughout the month of August. There's honestly a lot to unpack here as it's such a busy month, but hopefully you're just as excited as I am to check some of it out. Starting us off, we have a major event in August which will be the fireworks festivals, and this will happen every Sunday evening. Now, in case you're not already familiar with this particular event, it'll basically have you going to the Resident Services Plaza every Sunday evening where you can collect some fun items from Isabel, set up your own fireworks using custom designs, and even take part in Red's raffle which is full of all kinds of really fun collectible items that you can hold. A lot of them tend to be things like food and drink, you can get boba for example which is really cool. And the raffle is pretty cheap honestly, so don't worry too much about getting scammed by Red, this is probably one of the better things he's done in the game. Of course though, the main point of the fireworks festival is to watch the fireworks that are being set off in the skies around your island every Sunday evening. You can watch these with your villagers, or you could even invite some friends around to your island to see them too. It's honestly one of the prettiest things that we have in the entire game, it just looks so so cool. Now aside from the obvious, there are a few other fun things that you should know about the fireworks festival. For example, it's one of the only times throughout the year that you can take a boat ride with Kappen to go to one of his mystery islands and you can see the fireworks as you do so. I really love unique and special circumstances like this in Animal Crossing New Horizons as it's a pretty rare one honestly. But it definitely makes it worth waiting until night time so you can see those fireworks when you take a boat ride with Kappen. Another detail as well is that if you head over to Harv's Island when the fireworks festivals are taking place, you'll notice that Red will not be available there, you'll not be able to purchase his artwork, so definitely keep that in mind. Of course, he's currently on your island, so he can't be in two places at once. I definitely recommend inviting some friends over if you are able to, it just makes the event so, so much better in my opinion, but if not, you can definitely enjoy it with your villagers too, they'll have some fun and unique dialogue, so I highly recommend playing this event, it is really, really fun. Now let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Eating better should never be stressful, and with HelloFresh it doesn't have to be. I often find myself staring blankly at the fridge, not knowing what to make for dinner at all. It can be so hard to get inspired. Thankfully, HelloFresh allows you to choose from so many different recipes each week, packed with fresh ingredients. Everything arrives pre-portioned and right at your doorstep which is very convenient, it means no more late night trips to the only grocery place open when you've run out of food. These are chef crafted recipes and honestly, they're seriously good. And who doesn't love a treat? They're giving away all new subscribers free dessert for life. That means that you can enjoy a totally free dessert item with every single HelloFresh delivery, which is very tasty. Click the link in the description or use my code and get 10 free meals plus free dessert for life while subscription is active. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this week's video. There are also some changes at the Able Sister when the fireworks events are taking place. They will actually have some new inventory. Each Sunday you have a chance to get one of the following, a casual kimono, kabuki actor yukata, or morning glory yukata. This traditional Japanese clothing can only be found on the days of the fireworks festival, I believe. So it's really cool when we see the shops get an update related to specific events in the game. In fact, there's quite a few instances where this happens with the Able Sisters. They get some clothing that you'll only be able to find when certain seasonal events are going on. Moving on from the fireworks festival, there is another event that happens in August for those in the Northern Hemisphere. This is another bug off, and I'm sure you already know all about the bug offs by now, so I won't go too in depth about this particular event. But basically, you'll have to go around the island catching a bunch of bugs for Flick to get prizes, and you can even sell them to him to get a lot of extra bells. This will be happening on August the 26th, so right at the end of the month. And as always, I definitely recommend taking part in this event because you can get some really good prizes for doing so. I really really like some of the bug off items that are exclusive to this event, so I always try and get copies of them if I can. And if you're in need of bells, then this event could honestly be the best thing you've been looking for. You can make so many bells from the bugs that you can sell, so it's definitely a good tip in my opinion. Next, we have some fun seasonal items that you can collect throughout the month of August from Nook Shopping. These items are as followed. We have the Cowboy Festival item which is continuing on from July the 15th all the way until August 15th, so you have until the midpoint of the month. 
Now, whilst this one technically isn't an August item as it started in July, it is here for the majority of the month, so I thought it would be a good idea to remind you that this will be your last chance to get it. Next, we have two items from Obon, and these will be available from August the 10th until the 16th. So you don't have a particularly long window in order to get these two items, so I definitely recommend getting them as soon as you can. And no, before you ask, these aren't edible items, you cannot eat them like with some of the other food items in the game. Finally, we have an item for the Tomato Festival from August the 20th until the 31st. So a longer window here, but you'll definitely want to make sure you get them before the month is up. Now, sadly, this is just a shirt. I kind of wish they'd done a little bit more for the Tomato Festival. I'm sure there could have been some really great ideas, like baskets full of tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. But to be fair, we do actually have a few different tomato-themed items in the game. So if you do want to celebrate the Tomato Festival, then you could definitely do so in various ways. So yeah, not a ton of seasonal items to collect throughout August, but the ones we do have I really like, so I highly recommend getting them before the month ends. Now, in terms of island changes, we really won't be expecting too many in the Northern Hemisphere, things are mostly going to stay the same, but there are some fairly significant ones in the Southern Hemisphere, as from the 24th, winter will actually go away, and spring will start to appear. That means the snow is going to melt around your island, and it'll finally be gone. I know a lot of people really look forward to this time in Animal Crossing New Horizons, a lot of you in the Southern Hemisphere have been telling me how tired you are of the snow by this point, so yeah, definitely good news if you've been wanting winter to go away. Now we're moving on to seasonal materials and it actually ties into winter as well. As there won't really be any changes for the seasonal materials in the Northern Hemisphere, there are a few in the Southern. For example, snowflakes will stop spawning, so you won't be able to collect them from the 25th onwards. However, you will be able to start collecting young spring bamboo, which is a lot of fun. There are some really great items you can collect from the Young Spring Bamboo series, so I definitely recommend trying to get as many of those recipes as you possibly can, and planting some bamboo trees around your island. We also have some weather changes. Now, once again, there won't be too many changes for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. However, those in the Southern Hemisphere can expect the auroras to stop appearing in the skies, as of course winter will be over. However, you will be able to start seeing rainbows, so definitely some positives there. Something else I thought I'd update you on is all of the villager birthdays from the month. This is Nintendo's official catalogue, and you can see here all of the birthdays that'll be happening throughout August. So if you happen to have any of these villagers, you'll be able to celebrate their birthday with them. And any of these villagers that you see on screen, you'll actually be able to collect as a special icon in the Nintendo Switch Online section for Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you didn't know, this feature basically allows you to collect villagers and use them to create your own profile pictures for Nintendo Switch, which you can show off to your friends and such. It uses the villagers which are currently celebrating their birthday that month, as well as some special characters as well. So when August rolls around, I definitely recommend checking this out so you can collect some of the villagers, otherwise you will have to wait until next August 2024 to get them, as you can't time travel with this Nintendo Switch Online app. Now, how about we check out the bugs, fish, and sea creatures that you can expect to find in the Northern and Southern Hemisphere throughout August. Starting off, we have the bugs which will be arriving and leaving in August for the Northern Hemisphere, and there are a lot. Now, the bugs arriving will be the Migratory Locust, the Rice Grasshopper, and the Walker Cicada. In terms of leaving, there are so many. We have the Common Blue Bottle, Great Purple Emperor, Brown Cicada, Robust Cicada, Giant Cicada, Evening Cicada, Cicada Shell, Jewel Beetle, Blue Weevil Beetle, Scarab Beetle, Drone Beetle, Saw Stag, Miyama Stag, Giant Stag, Cyclomatus Stag, Golden Stag, Giraffe Stag, Horn Dynastid, Horn Atlas, Horned Elephant, and Horn Hercules. So make sure you catch these bugs before they disappear as a lot are going away. For those in the Southern Hemisphere, the Tiger Beetle will be arriving, and in terms of leaving, you can expect the Rajar Brooks Birdwing, Damselfly, and Dung Beetle to leave. Now, we're moving on to new fish for those in the Northern Hemisphere. We can expect to see the Soft Shell Turtle, Moray Eel, and the Ray. The fish leaving in August for the Northern Hemisphere will be the Killifish, Frog, Giant Snakehead, Napoleon Fish, and then also the Squid. Now, for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, no new fish will be arriving in the month of August, which is definitely a bit of a shame, but what are you going to do? However, two fish will be leaving throughout the month, which will be the Pond Smelt and the Blowfish. 
So make sure you catch any of those new fish and especially the ones that'll be leaving before the month is over. Finally, we're on to sea creatures. We have the flatworm arriving in the northern hemisphere and leaving in the same hemisphere will be the sea pineapple and the vampire squid. Finally, we have the southern hemisphere and no new sea creatures will be arriving. However, the oyster, sea pig and sweet shrimp as well as the Venus's flower basket will all be leaving throughout the month. I want to say thank you to Game8.co for compiling these little infographics, it's really useful to see. So yeah, make sure you head out throughout the month and catch as much as you possibly can. I know a lot of you are still trying to fill up your Critipedias and such, so August is honestly a really good month to do so, especially as so much is going to leave in terms of the Northern Hemisphere. So yeah, that was pretty much everything for the month of August in Animal Crossing New Horizons. There is definitely a lot going on and lots of fun things to do. Let me know in the comments section down below though what you're most excited for, I would absolutely love to hear. If you made it to the end of the video, then be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more videos.